Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are talking all about Magnolia essential oil. For some reason, have not used Magnolia yet. I don't know why. I didn't even know. I like It was just not even on my radar for so long. But I have been working more closely with Revive and I got this blend to, I think it was either on sale or I got it for like summery scent because it's the perfect summery scent. This is Sweet Magnolia, so it's a blend. But this is as close as I have to an actual Magnolia oil. So this smells very citrusy and sweet and floral. So I have Magnolia in my cart and I'm going to get it. Anyways, I just want to talk about history, the uses, and I have some recipes in this blog post. So click down below for the recipes. I'll share them, but it's obviously better to see a recipe so you can screenshot and save. But anyways, before we get started also, I have essential oil guides and I'm creating more. So let me know what requests that you have. So think like a 10 to 20 page guide on something specific. So I have hormones using essential oils with dogs. I'm making a essential oils and cats one soon because we just adopted a two year old cat. Anyways, I, I have these guides that you can just grab in my stand store and it's just everything you need to know about a specific topic with essential oils and tons of recipes as well with that. But anyways, the history of Magnolia essential oil, just like almost all essential oils, it dates back millions of years. Magnolias are ancient plants believed to have existed even before bees, which I thought was interesting. Originally from East and Southeast Asia in traditional Chinese and Japanese medicine is what magnolia was used for like calming and therapeutic balancing properties. I feel like a lot of essential oils date back to like Chinese way, 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 way back culture. Anyways, magnolia's flowers symbolize purity and nobility. Oil is extracted from the flowers, so it is magnolia flower essential oil, and a lot of it is just used to promote relaxation, alleviate stress, and then also some skincare on there too. So the distillation process, and all of this is in the blog post too, in case you want to read more about it, but they harvest the petals off of the magnolia a tree. They're then the steam distilled. Most essential oils are. Some citrus oils are cold pressed. Uh, steam distillation is the most common. So the steam and the liquid and the water just all go their own way and then you get a floral water and an essential oil. So that is how the oil is made. Magnolia trees, obviously we live in the Midwest, US, so they are here. We have magnolia trees here. Magnolia trees are primarily native to East and Southeast Asia. China, Japan, Vietnamese, or Vietnam, but we also obviously have them here in Michigan, so they can grow everywhere, but I think they prefer warm, tempest climates. But obviously, like I said, we have them here too, and we have the worst winters. Constituents, that's what I'll talk about next, and this is just what chemical profile or what makes up the essential oil and what ha what gives the essential oil the benefits that it may have. Uh, so linalool is a common one, and this one is known for calming and relaxing. Think lavender, terpenol, you eucalyptol and it just varies depending on where the oil is sourced from. These are all of the things that make the oil do what it does, if that makes sense. And then some of the uses of magnolia are obviously aromatherapy. So it smells really great. Unless you don't like the smell, obviously it's not going to create a relaxing atmosphere, but if you love it and it smells pleasant to you, it's going to be calming. Skincare, so you can add it to some DIY skincare like oils or serums, or you can add a drop to your moisturizer. Emotional well-being so just taking a whiff right from the bottle another thing we like to do I don't have one right here for some reason but an aromatherapy inhaler I have a whole video on how to make an aromatherapy inhaler they are in my opinion probably the number one or number two most effective ways to use essential oils so you're basically putting a few drops on a little cotton wick and it goes in a little plastic or aluminum inhaler and you just smell in the essential oil, it's just like sticking a whiff from the bottle. Just direct inhalation is super powerful and effective. Yeah, our next is massage. So bring it to some massage oil, either coconut oil or whatever you prefer. You can even make up your own little massage oil and perfume. So I have also a video on how to make your own natural perfume using essential oils. It's so easy. I do it the easy way. I'm not letting the oils marinate with alcohol for however long. I just make up a roller. This is one I think that I made in that video actually. So it's Blooming Garden, but it's a nice spring floral perfume roller and this is so when I say perfume roller it's just I add more drops than I normally would for like a different type of roller 
because we're just using it for a perfume. So you're using it on occasion, not every single day, all day long. So you can make it a little stronger, make the scent last a little bit longer. This one has a lot of patchouli and it just smells so good. So you make a perfume, just put it on your pulse points like you would any other perfume. Um, that's as simple as that is, but you're replacing perfume with essential oil perfume. You are not only getting rid of all of the uh, hormone disruptor and all of the different mons of the actual perfume, the synthetic fragrance, but you're replacing it with something Thing that's actually going to be beneficial too plus it's safer to you so there are so many benefits in doing that and i am a big advocate for replacing perfume as much as i loved perfume also i loved so many perfumes i worked at ulta and i was like perfume girl for a while and i was just liking in the perfumes i loved so many i love floral scents and so many perfumes are floral and so i just loved perfume but it was super easy for me once i knew the cons made out the differences it was like no more chloe or all the synthetic fragrance in this blog post also i have like quick guides so the scientific name or uh the origin where it's from extraction odor it's a medium strength oil so when you're blending something you want to add a middle amount of drops so say you're making a perfume with orange I don't know, magnolia and patchouli. Random. The orange essential oil is not going to have a strong of an aroma, so you're gonna add more, if you're making a balanced blend, that is. So you're gonna add more orange, a uh, little patchouli, because patchouli is very strong, and then a medium amount of magnolia, if that makes sense, and if that's helpful. I think I talked about all of that in my video about making perfume too, and how to make a balanced blend, but I learned that in aromatherapy school, and it was cool, and it was really helpful, because not all essential oils have the same strength in their aroma. So that's important if you want a balanced blend. And that's the difference between a high quality brand having an aromatherapist making their blends versus a really cheap, not well done company just making some blends. Like it, that's what elevates the, the good brands. And then I have five recipes using magnolia essential oil. So I have a relaxing bath soak, some salt, magnolia, lavender, and some carrier oil. You always want to make sure you're diluting essential oils before putting them in the bathtub with you. As oils don't mix with water, as we know. So the is or the recipe is there for that. I also have a radiant skin serum. I love making skin serums with essential oils. That one is magnolia and frankincense. Frankincense is the king of essential oils. It's amazing for rejuvenating, just taking care of your skin in a really high level. Then we have a calming diffuser blend. So making your own diffuser blend, you can either make one in an empty bottle like this, like I've made or you can just add the drops to your diffuser, but it's Magnolia, Bergamot, and Ylang Ylang. Natural Perfume Roll-On, which I already talked about. That one's Magnolia and Jasmine. And then a Soothing Massage Oil. So using it in Massage Legend like 4 2 is also great. Um, magnolia and Chamomile. The Massage Oil is uh, a Carrier Oil and then Magnolia and Chamomile. So think a super relaxing, yet yeah, lifting because it smells so great. And oil blend for that. I think that's it for this video. I have Magnolia in my cart right now. So the next time I place an order, I just uploaded a Revive haul. So it's going to be a week, at least a week maybe two weeks, but I'm excited to try it. Um, but this one also smells amazing. Definitely recommend this. It's sweet and floral and citrusy, uh, perfect for a summer diffuser blend or a car diffuser blend. Um, if you don't have a car diffuser uh, yet, make sure you go grab one from Revive. Let me know what I missed about Magnolia that you use it for. A link to shop Revive along with all of our other favorite essential oil companies will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what single essential oil you want me to do a video on next and I hope you have a great day. Bye.